Hey everyone, welcome. This is Halo 2 Junkies once again showing you how to put an XMB theme on a PSP. Now you must have custom firmware to do this, so do not try if you don't. Um, if you have any questions, just comment or send me another message. Um, and I'll reply back within 24 hours, hopefully. Depends on how active I am. Well, I have 3.9 M33-2 and um, the boulders are kind of, you know, really compressed and they're in a weird order, so it's kind of hard to find them where to put the files now. So I'm going to show you that. Well, first, the materials you'll need is a PSP, obviously. I prefer Slim, but it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> and a USB cable. And, of course, custom firmware. It's all you need, and you'll be on your way. Oh, yeah, and a computer. Alright, I found this on Google. It's the Apple theme. It's the new one for the 3.90. Um, to find a theme, just go to Google and type in PSP theme, XMB theme, sorry about that, and put your version and you'll find several of them. Now go ahead and download it. I already downloaded it, so sorry on my desktop. Let me go to it real quick. There it is right there, the D-Apple TV theme. And there it is right there, VSH. That's all you need right now, all right? Now, what you want to do, go ahead and get your USB cord and plug it to your PSP like so. There we go. And mine's already on, so I'm um, go ahead and power off if it's already on. Alright, now it's off. Now what you want to do is turn back on and hold the R trigger. And it will go into recovery mode for custom firmware users. There we are. Now what you want to do, you want to go to you want to go to advance, the fourth one down. Press X. Then you want to go to flash zero. USB enabled, and it should make a sound or something on your computer, and you want to go to start, or it'll just pop automatically up. Mine's right here. It'll have these three files. Um, what you want to do, you say, you know it says VSH, right? What you want to do, just go back here. You know, first, let me do this. I'm going to do you a favor. Click New, and then Folder. And go ahead and name it flash zero. Okay? And what I want you to do is drag all this and put it in that folder. This is a backup. Just in case you mess up, you can always return your PSP back to normal and it won't be, you know, broken. This is this will save you up to hundred dollars. I'm promising you that. About 20 seconds saved $100. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, what you want to do, the VSH folder right here, what you want to do, go back to your theme, to VSH, and go ahead, put it over here, get the folder, and drag it right under it. It'll say, would you like to overwrite? Go ahead and press yes. Do this for all current items. Yes. Do this for all 12 conflicts. Copy. No. Copy and replace. Good. There we go. And it'll start doing everything it needs to do. Won't take long. And there. It's done. Pretty simple, isn't it? Alright. Now, go ahead and close everything out. And exit recovery mode. Press back and go ahead and press exit. And the PSP will now restart and we'll see what it looks like. Pretty neat. New battery option I see. Oh, this is really nice. We got the game, we got video, we got music, we got photo, we got settings. I see this thing changed to Mac style. That's pretty cool. We got all the normal settings. This is pretty tight. Go ahead and press settings. Let's see what we have. Has a little max sound. We have everything we need right here. That's really neat. Down here it says what you're searching for. Power settings. Connected display. That's pretty neat. I like this. This is my first time doing this, so I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> mm. 
So, as you notice, everything's changed, and it said it came with the game boot, so I want to see what that looks like real quick. Let's see what I have here. Oh, let's just load anything up. Simpsons game, why not? Wow, and that's pretty tight. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Everything's good. Alright, that hopefully that helped you. Now, it's not hard to put an XMB theme on your PSP. It's just some people, they mess it up. I mean, because most people will try it without custom firmware saying, it don't really make a difference, does it? Yes, it does. <laughs> I don't know how you can, but, um, well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions or comments, just message me. I am usually on about twice a day on YouTube, depending. Um, also, if you have a Game Charles account, just you can message me there too, because I'm posting it there too. So, um, hope you enjoy and um, happy theming.